Hey, San Antonio. Hey, South Texas. How are you on this uh, June 6th day? I cannot believe, you know, it's already June. Kids are out of school. A um, lot of parents um, now trying to determine what they're going to do with their kids. I would do anything to go back to that time um, when I didn't know what to do with my kids for, what, two months? And now they're all grown up and they're gone and I kind of miss that. But that being said, what's going on in the real estate market? The reality is, is that um, incredibly enough, we've been talking about a shift for so long. We sound like broken records because the shift shift has not really happened, at least in the San Antonio metro area. And I guess all the way through, you know, past New Braunfels and Bernie. Um, and I just had the opportunity to host the Parade of Homes in Castroville. The reality is, is that inventory, it's still at 3.2 months. What does that mean? That even though we've been waiting for this shift where buyers are going to be determining, you know, um, the rules of engagement, you still see multiple offers when a property is priced right very quickly. So again, you know, now that the debt ceiling has been renegotiated and all that drama is over, hurting, been hearing that there's a probability there might be a decrease on the interest rate, but we don't know yet. So Again, you know, what is the problem? A lot of people, no, I, a lot of people that I met at the Parade of Homes, we're going to wait until rates come down. Well, that's a pretty, pretty serious gamble right there because I got to tell you that monthly, we're seeing a 0 0.8, 0 0.7 um, monthly increase on in property prices. So why don't we think about it this way? Try to change the part I'm here in your brain. If rates go down, you can always renegotiate. There's a whole bunch of lenders out there that won't even charge you for closing costs to renegotiate if rates do come down. Or another option, three, five, seven year adjustable rate mortgages. Do a really thorough analysis. Are you buying this house and you're gonna stay there for the rest of your life? If the answer is no, then an adjustable rate mortgage is not a bad idea. It's always more expensive you know, to buy a 30 year fixed note than it is to fix it for the next three years, five or seven years. So that is a mindset that, oh no, let's do 30 years. I still have to meet someone on this, I'm a, what is it, a X generation or millennial staying in their homes for more than five, six, seven years. So yeah, that's another option. And finally, the possibility to renegotiate um, with your lender using your seller to buy down points on your note because Here's the next number that really blew my mind away. The median price for San Antonio, we have exceeded 300,000. So now we're at 407. 407, I mean, that's a lot. For for our average price, I'm sorry, and the median price stands strong at 380 something. So San Antonio is not what it used to be 20 something years ago. We're not going up in price for 4% 4 per year. That's really not happened in a long time. So your best best, if you are on the fence, trying to decide if you wanna buy a house, don't think it any longer. Call me. Again, there are ways that we can offset the jitters of a higher rate. And if you're thinking selling, well, I do understand people that have two, three rates, they say, well, you know, why sell? And I don't have a counter argument for that. If you don't need to sell, you're probably not gonna do it. So the people that are selling right now is the people that have to sell downsize, upsize, change in family situation. Like uh, one of the properties that we're gonna be putting up in the market, you know, it's a family that they wanna go up to Illinois to meet with the rest of their family. So those people are gonna sell, but they're not fire sales. So if you as a buyer are waiting for fire sales, that's still not in the works. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. As a small business owner, all I'm asking is for your support by sharing this video or giving it a thumbs up so that the algorithm can do its magic. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.